Oh my god. <clears throat> oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, wow, wow. We're on camera. We're also at Spotify. This I mean, let's really roll this out. It's a big day. You like your announcement, so I give it to you. Okay, thank <clears throat> you. I You're appreciate welcome. that. Yeah. Everybody, I want to look in the camera. We are professional. We are at Spotify Studios. Well, we're trying to be. We're, we're trying to we're be working professional. working on it. We're working on it. This is, I mean, we've gone from the guest house. We've gone from Zooms. Zooms to the guest house. To the guest house to Spotify. To downtown at Spotify, which is the most gorgeous place. Yeah, it's something else. Remember when Google came out and everybody was like, oh, if this you work was at free. Google, there's like this a was campus. This was free. There's a barista, and you say, oh, what f would you like something to drink? Would well, you, you don't like say coffee? that. She asks. Yeah, it, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Would you like something? And you think, oh, and there's a menu. Mm -hmm. And I got a latte, and you <laughs> got a cappuccino. I was on the edge of my seat. I'm just saying this was free. Yeah. I was ready to go down the street and and and, and buy some treats to entertain myself. No, But I didn't treats. have to. I had a great bag of popcorn before we started. Listen, the things, my imagination is running wild because there are other places. There's how many studios in, in what's it called? Pod City? Pod, Pod World? Pod City. Pod yeah. City. There's like seven over what's here. Pod, then there's, we're, we're in Pod City. This is Pod City? Yeah. We're in it. Okay. So this is only one of many. How we many? Might be in, we might have different backdrops. How many studios are in Pod City? You don't well, know? Well, I don't work here, but I believe they said seven. Well, Chanel would know. Chanel I know. Is, or, well, Chanel told told us. And I know, but I forgot. That's I know. I that's what I was making. Anyway, the fun that we can have here. It's great. The possibilities of the things we can do and make. Do you want to show the prop you brought today? I do, but you really jumped. <laughs> well, what, do you, you want to milk it more? You can I milk was it. really in the middle of a moment. <laughs> I, I'm just staring okay, at the thing next, you brought. Okay, next. Here's what I'd like to do next. Can we please introduce Arwen? Please. Because we have Arwen on a camera. Everyone's been wondering. Okay, Arwen. Who's the face behind the voice? Who's the Everyone's face behind pants? Hi, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> the face behind pants. This is Arwen. It's so great to have you here. It's good to we're be here. We're all in it's person. Fun. It's nice when we're all together. I like yeah, it so I much better Yeah, I got turned off by it. the Zooms, I yeah. have to say. The they, whole world They did. feel impersonal. But, I mean, thanks to Zoom, well, we, we all got to really see each other. we became really conditioned to the Zooms. It was mm -hmm. just the yeah. way we did things, and you couldn't think twice about it. But then you get in person, and I just, there's no comparison. No. And here we are in a profesh. So profesh. Setting. Anyway, it's great to have you. Well, I'm happy I'm, to be I'm here. I'm glad everyone can put a face to it. What are we talking about? Today? It meaning your well, voice. Well, there is another announcement. Right. We have a What is it? That's what pretty is it? big. Lisa, oh, you were oh, going to make this it. This is huge. Oh, go ahead. Again, <sighs> you love your announcements. So well, it. I've been holding this stuff in. <laughs> the first announcement is that you can see us. So it's like I'm announcing as it's happening. Simultaneously, so it's less of an announcement because you're it's actually already in play. Are you bored? I'm just waiting. No, I'm waiting for okay. you to get to the, the point. The big announcement. Well, I guess it's no. Now I've really built it up. It sounds like we're <laughs> going to be you. back on TV or Go ahead. something. We're not. We're not. We're going to recap again. <laughs> 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 I know. I was like, as I was really <sighs> sorry to drag that out. What a disappointment. We're going to recap. We're going to recap. But we're going to recap here. And we're going to recap. Uh, we're going to have a different style well, of recapping mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, we're not going to go. Scene I couldn't by go scene. through the beat by beat. I just can't because there's a lot of things that I either don't care about or I would naturally fast forward. But when you I would do say ninety percent of it, you don't care about. No, but when you have to do beat by beat, you have to watch it, and I don't have anything to say sometimes. Well, it's so like oh, Tina the opened the door and walked in, and Who there cares? was Beth. Well, people care, but they don't care, especially audibly. Like it was like, Ugh. yeah. It's so like, you know what it was? It's like reading. Keep it a little more snappy. You know what it reminded me of? If you were to listen to someone reading out instructions on how to put an IKEA box together. Correct. Yeah. And that someone's would be reading like that. that beat by beat. That's what those recaps are feeling like toward to, to me right. in my brain. So I'm glad that like we're gonna... a bad high school class where you're like, yeah. Okay. So well, I like this new well, approach. Also, we're going to start where we left off, which was two years ago, but we did the first two seasons. Uh huh. Of the original L word. I always have to say, you know, just in case. We have, maybe we have new listeners, watchers, watchers. I don't get it. What What are you trying to? We're starting at season three. I know, but what we're are you? We're not going to go back. But what are you trying to, uh, you're trying to differentiate what? 
that we're not going to start from the beginning just because we're on camera now. Oh, my God. I well, can't do that I don't again. Know. I can't I watch could, first and second would, season again. Are you kidding? <laughs> I can't think of more torture. I would never. I right. would never. I know. I just want to make it clear. Okay. Clarity. Okay. Maybe so it's my hormone replacement. Everyone yeah. can catch up on seasons one and two so that they can recap oh. along with you. Sure. That's you know. right. Oh, you can re- you could re-listen. Yeah. Sure. sure. And it's then just, we get it's to- a little long, though. It's a little... But I mean, if people if are new listeners, maybe they have time watched on their hands. While, maybe they don't need the homework. Maybe they, maybe they have, want it. Maybe they, maybe they don't. I think leave it up to them. <laughs> I mean, I feel like I know you don't. Yeah, yeah. you're not going to listen. Maybe they, anyway, you don't have to. We can all jump in together. Let's just dive into season but three. But it's been it. two like, years. Let's just get into season three. Yeah, that's all. You don't need to listen to the last two. If you watched it, you got oh it. Oh my god, this it's, is a business. If it would, they'd get hit. We'd get hits on pants if they re-listen. You're like, don't worry about it. Oh, right. You forgot it was a business. mm. I was thinking of people's well-being. It's a livelihood. (laughs) I know you were thinking about their mental state. (laughs) Yeah. That's nice. Anyway, I take it back. You should listen. Yeah, listen. It's fine. Have a drink. Listen. And then we have two more announcements, but I'm not allowed to make those until like, God knows when, March, April. Are they? Oh, no, one. we only have one more, and then we have one next year. We have a 2025 announcement. Yeah, the 2020 – yeah, don't even – I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> don't even. And those are – I mean, whatever. You're terrible. I feel you're like you're a – I feel like you're keeper. like – The worst. Like I could feel – I could see it on your face. You're so ready to blurt it it's out. It's awful. Keeping You're so in. ready to bl- – and if I just let you g- keep going, you would. I wouldn't, you would. but I want to. I know you do, but that's what I'm saying. You don't have control. <laughs> if we kept this up for the next 20 minutes, it would come out eventually. Right. Um, You're just as excited. I am, but I can keep a secret. I know. Oh, you're so cool. No, I'm not. I just know when to be quiet. <laughs> um, but it's something to look forward to in a year from now. I also f- – yes. I mm. also feel like – I brought something today because now that we're... Oh, now we can talk about it? Yeah. Now okay. that we're on camera, well, it's I a visual about medium, I said to you. And you yelled at me. So. Well, I was, you, it was like well, you was jumped big, the gun. It was just to get it up there. I brought the original pants sign because this we... This is what kicked it off We in made this in 2020. That's right. And hung it up behind every Zoom video. That's and right. I was like, I've never let it go. Well, it's been hanging over my drums, me, even though it's unrelated. Ah, oh, do you want to hang it? Let's do it. I do. Do you want some? But I'm gonna do it straight because I know you don't like yeah. the angle. Oh. There you go. Did you bring a level? I did it, but I feel like I can eyeball it. No, that's good. That looks good. No, 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 no. It's good. It's good. Down on the left. It's like nothing's changed. <laughs> right back in I the feel pandemic like, era. Oh, I'm all. <laughs> I feel like I've gotten a little more sentimental as I've gotten older. Really? Yeah, like this isn't like, like me. Like this? This isn't like me. I don't hang on to stuff. Bullshit. What? Are you kidding? You have been stealing props from set since I've that, known you. Oh, and trust me, I'm bringing all of it. <laughs> I can't wait to just. So, what are you talking about? You're not, you're suddenly sentimental. You took everything. Everything. Coasters, napkins, cups, glasses. You've <laughs> taken it all. I feel like I'm going to have a lawsuit against me with the way you're talking. We've discussed this in the I'm going to roll that motorcycle in here. <laughs> Trust me. Oh, the motorcycle. I yeah. gave mine to... um. What? So- I gave it to Solomon's kid. Wow. Sorry. Wow. What motorcycle? It was the episode Kate directed in the reboot. She and rides Alice, in a little motorcycle because she's dressed as Evil Knievel. And they had two because, you know, if one in case breaks one, down, you can. The props department has two. The, you know, we all knew the show was like kicking the can. So we stole everything <laughs> from, the, <laughs> from the stages. And that was one of, I'll never forget, like my, the back door coming up and everyone lifting it in. Yeah. Into my trunk. Yeah. Ugh. I don't have a place for anyway, it. Anyway, I don't either, but I was like, I can't throw this. I gave it to the Solomon's. Effort that came Solomon. In. Solomon's kid was like beyond excited for Christmas, and I thought I'm gonna. We give should it to start Sol- auctioning stuff off to keep pants up and alive. We could. We could. 
could auction off old pants. Like have merch. a um like a garage sale kind mm-hmm. of like a virtual garage pants sale. Pants garage sale. That's a good idea. Yeah, you like that one? I do. I like okay. that idea. I like oh, it. Kate. So anyway, the sentimentality. So this is your sentimentality. Well, this is an pants. example of it, I guess. It's not hard to keep this though. I like that you still hung on to it. If this Thank was at you. my house, I would have thrown it away. It would years ago. Yeah, you would have probably thrown it in your fire. And you've I'm, moved like multiple times right. in the last four years. <laughs> so like, <laughs> there's no way this would be around. Never, never. I've stayed put, so I was like, what? I mean, it's a piece of paper. What am I going to do? If I stayed put, I would have hung on to that little motorcycle, but because I was no, moving. No, don't try to get out of it now. You... No, it's fact. If I had a place to put it, I would maybe I'm going to start. You it. live so close, and I'm going to just start driving it over to your house. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be all. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know, Kate. Here we are. All right. Well, here we are. <sighs> Arwen. Oh. <laughs> I want a topic. Why? Why? I'm right here. I want a topic. I'm a topic. Up to a point. It's like, (laughs) let's have a topic. Okay, go ahead. We have the fucking brains behind the pants thing. It's okay. I feel like another thing that you guys could talk about, since you guys are going to start doing recaps, is what would be on the L Word bingo card. What is that? Well, like if you were to make a bingo card and follow along and watch the episodes, it would be like... Bet yells fuck at no one would be like on the bingo card. Mm. So are we going to be doing bingo cards we along could make with these them? recaps? Because Lisa's going to make props. So I don't can... have the time to make bingo no? cards. I can make a bingo card. Really? I mean, it, it could just go on like Instagram and then people could follow mm. along. Okay. I like it. Yeah. It could be easy. But what should be on it? What would be on the L word bingo card? Like what would I know what would be on the L word bingo right. card? Does. I know okay. it would be on the I, here. I already got them in my head. The mic dropped by, by, by Mia Kirshner. She's the queen of them. She'll just is it say Mia some- or Jenny? Well, Jenny. You have to- okay, well, so, be clear. I'm sorry, Jenny, because she'll say something, and she'll just stand there in silence and live in that awkward silence. And it's always like there's always a bomb that drops. So I'm going to say that. I'm going to say uh, Bet crying and giving a monologue about art. <laughs> That's going to get a lot of hits. It's a fact. It happens all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, Kit being confused about something. Isn't she always confused? Con- meaning she always like- confused about something. Like I don't know where this is, or what's that, or how do I work this? Like there's always a level of confusion with Kit. Like there's a there's a franticness. No. Okay. I don't think she's frantic, but I I think I I know what you're saying. I think um, that's a great one. Mm-hmm. Confused Kit. Confused like a little Kit. like yeah. like she's the one people need to teach. Like well Kit well da 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 da. Like she's always the last to know. Right. Confused Kit. Okay. Those are great. I feel I only say this because we watched some. Well, so... you can't you can't say that. Well, we had to. We had a recap. We're just say we're what? You're going back in time. We're before. Is that bad to say? Yeah, you're before. I think it's okay. I think it's okay to say like we started watching so we yeah, can recap. Yeah, we st- yeah, we started watching some because we were getting we're, we're You know what happened to me? What? I was watching. I was behind. I've been very behind this week. You were watching it in your car driving yeah, over to Yeah, I told to you this. Me. So I, I had, I don't know, 10 minutes left, and I had to come pick you up. <clears throat> and I was like, maybe something really important is going to happen in the last 10 minutes. I don't know. So I grabbed my iPad. <laughs> I don't want to be arrested for this, but I put it up on my dashboard, and I flipped it open, and I was like driving, and I was like this. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, it was Carmen giving you a lap dance. Sorry, Shane. Giving Shane a lap dance. And that that's what And I was like, I don't think I need to die over this. No. Many people would. They'd probably be like, if this is how I'm gonna go out, it's okay. It's a great way to go out. But, but no. I thought put the flap close at least. So you didn't finish it then? No, but I I I remember that scene. Okay. And I didn't think much was gonna happen after it. But then something did with Tina, apparently. You told me when I got here. I don't remember. What did she do? Well, we don't need to start okay, recapping, fine. but I'm just asking what else would be on the bingo card since you like what else would be on that bingo card? Were you just stuck in time? No. In your brain? I'm asking oh. you. What else would be in that bingo card then since you did finish it? On in the that, car in the but car now ride we're, reca- home. we're not recapping. This isn't a recap episode. I know, it's not okay. a recap episode. I think uh every time somebody orders a coffee could be one. No, so get Every more specific. Time. Like get more get more specific. 
I would say scenes around a cof- uh, scenes at the planet around a table, okay. group scenes. All right, like three or more. Okay. Um, I feel like Helena trying to throw money using money to fix something. Yeah. Yes. Which it's actually they one. gave they gave that to Alice like in they did. The reboot. All of a sudden, Alice you was got paying for char- everything. You got the characteristic of paying for everything for everyone. To fix anything. Money was no option. It no, didn't I, I was buying plane tickets. Oh, yeah. I was putting people in rehab. I was... Buying mattresses. Oh, right. I bought you furniture. No, I furnished your house, I think. You bought a very expen- uh, expensive mattress. For like you. Like $10,000 for mattresses, you. yeah. Yeah, a Hasten. I, Hasten. Mattress, I tried yeah. to ask props if I could have it. <laughs> it wasn't really a Hasten. It There's was no way. A Hasten. There's no way. It was, I laid on the thing. I can tell you right now it was a Hasten. And I asked Who props. Who took that home? Thank you. I don't know because they didn't give it is to it me. Is it in a warehouse somewhere right now? I don't know. You know what I think is the, the golden job to have in Hollywood? Props or production Producer. Design. Oh, 100%. You get everything. You get everything. Yeah. And you can say no to, to actors and say, no, you can't have that. It's, we have to give it back. And then or, you can pocket it. you know, some it. sort of bullshit. Yep. And then you yeah. get transpo or your husband to come take it home later. That <laughs> hasten, like, that hasten, there's no way they just gave it back to hasten. That's what I'm saying. Because somebody I, we laid went on home it, with this thing. Makeup got on it. It was banging around on well, yeah, set, sex scenes all on that. It. It's a fucking rabbit hole story of a mattress, but I still think I love about, a rabbit hole story. But I was really take looking me for down. Reason. Take me down. Yeah. <clears throat> so what are you sleeping on these days? The helix. Oh, right. Okay. I love the helix. Okay. It's fine. It all worked out in the end. It did. I just, I didn't like getting the runaround. I wanted to know what happened to that $15,000 mattress that they somehow got for the show. I, I mean, I have a lot of guesses where it is. Oh, I'm not going to name any names, but I can. Someone's enjoying it. Yeah, and I have <laughs> yeah. I have names in my head. Yeah. All right. Anyway, I think we should get into production because this actor lifestyle is a nightmare. Yeah, acting's kind of for the birds. The producers. Well, the, the, no. the art of acting is great. Like sure, that's so much but fun. But like at the end but of the day, when you're the producer, you get all the bells and whistles. At the end want. of the day, when you're an actor, you're sitting around waiting for a job. Right. Producers can just go job to job and just keep collecting yeah, props. Yes. You know? We worked with one producer who built a pool in a kitchen. Oh, we've talked about it we've a million this. times on this podcast. Oh, we have, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, no, we are, yeah, our old producer, who's very successful now, by the way, doing like hit shows on HBO. Yeah. Yeah. She's, she's just She's doing fine. great, but she was always she's, amazing. She's killing but, it right now. Yeah. Every season we'd come back up to Vancouver and there was like a remodel. I built a new pool. I have a new wing on my house. (laughs) That's what I'm saying. Like, meanwhile. Yeah. Yeah. We're like eating cereal, hoping like some the phone rings. Yeah, is my agent calling it? No, being a producer is where it's at. Okay. Well, it's a little late to decide that. But we're producing this in a sort of roundabout way. And we got we got Helix mattresses. I know. You know, we're doing great. We got we gotta build up. I'm not complaining. I hope it doesn't (laughs) seem that way. Did you bring more props? I was going to say, save the next prop for the next episode. Okay. In fact, if you want, every week we could do, now that it's we have visual, to... we, we can fill these up. Um, I don't want to ruin their color coding because it's cute yeah, and everything. But bit. I, yes, I think every week maybe somebody brings something. Okay. Okay. Will you bring stuff? If I find anything, you have to. I have to be inspired to find it. I'm still living among boxes. It's like surprise. It's kind of like a surprise me. What are you going to bring? Right. Let me unpack a few more boxes. Let me see what I can dig up. And if something sparks something, I'll bring it with me. Do I? Okay. Do I have to constantly bring it afterward? I'm, we or? can. We can trade off. Like I'll surprise you. You surprise me. I'll surprise you. You surprise me. Okay. Okay. It's kind of fun, right? Yeah. Like, I would wonder, oh, what's Kate going to bring this okay. week? I'm can excited. You, can you... Um... And we don't have to collect and bring the whole kit and oh, caboodle. Oh, thank God. No, once you've shown it, you take it home. Okay. Okay. Um, can you kick this thing this off? This isn't like a lockout. 
All right. Can There's you other... kick this thing off so you can give me a week or two to yeah, I'm go through do it some on more our, boxes? And, our next, Does it have to today's. be in relation to... It doesn't... It can be related to the L word. It cannot be... I don't want be. it to be always related to the show. I said it cannot be was but, my next sentence. But does it... Is it related to something between you and I or is it just could be anything? Sky's the limit. I mean, if you're going to bring a sky's the limit prop or... No, I'm asking. Where, I'm, yes, where are the, where my are the answer guardrails? is do whatever you want. So there are no rules. There are no rules. Okay. All right. Well, that makes it a little easier. There's one Does rule. Does it? I What's think that seems rule? harder. You have to talk about it. Got it. Oh, yeah. So it it can't just like be sitting there. Yeah. It can't show just be sitting there and like we like we see it, but we don't talk about I it. I didn't that like can't. show and tell as a kid. You what? Know I didn't like show that and was, tell as a I kid. was like, when is that day going to roll around again? How did you not like show and tell? I just didn't like it. You didn't like when you had to go up, or yeah. you didn't like seeing what everyone else brought. Not at my, it depends. Like sometimes the kids brought something neat, sometimes they didn't. But you'd I didn't rather like, have regular school than show no, and tell. No, I just didn't like getting up there, being like, "So I brought this today," um, and this. Mean, I just didn't like it. I didn't. Like, I didn't like the pressure. It was a lot of like, "It's your turn, Kate. Get up there and show the class what you brought." Oh my like god! It. Sign me up. I could have <laughs> had course. a constant. Well, what's better? You get to bring something from home. You get to tell everyone about your thing. I don't. There's probably a reason, like a maybe a summer vacation, so then you can like roll into that. I'm good. I wow. just didn't like it. Well, you're it not going to like this because maybe you're, not. But you're. I but I'm going to try it. If I don't okay, like it, I'll well, say, you know I'm what? Asking. I'm getting triggered. I'm not going to do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but I am going to try it. We're not. I'm not going to make you turn to camera and explain too much about what you brought but a little I mean okay. maybe it was just like getting up in front of a class and the teacher being like yeah and and then what and you're like well that's it I brought this <laughs> it's 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 a cup I were brought... you like that as a kid what yeah and so what do you want no not necessarily I just but there was always that expectation the pressure and that's why I didn't like the but did you show and tell did you speak that way as a child no Oh, I I so. That would have been if you were just like a mini version of you, with saying the same things. <laughs> like I don't know, it's from what's his nuts, <laughs> like something like that. I would kill to see a kid like that, mm -mm. right? Yeah, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I don't think I was like that. You were sweeter, probably. You were just dying on the inside, probably. I'm sorry. Why did you get into acting? That's I don't so know. weird that you were like. I don't know. Because you were too cute to hide your face away, probably. I think everyone around you was probably like, um, you might want to put think? that on I TV. Don't think so. I don't yeah. Think so at all. Oh, if I saw you, if I was a casting director and I was like walking down the streets of Philly on like 42nd and Spitzel, I don't know. What well, the does, I don't know if Philly, does Philly go up to 42nd? No, I guess it okay, does so on the west side. Ave and Ave, what? Avenue A and we don't have A's. What do you have? Um, we have a lot of streets named after trees. You do? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Like what? Like Spruce Street and Willow? Pine Street and Locust Street and Walnut Street and Chestnut Street. and. That's adorable. Um, uh, and then we have- And then what are the other ones? What are the cross streets? Numbers. Well, going up to what? Uh, good question. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Is it 50th? It could be 50th. 50th. You know who Coleman would know because- Okay. Well, if I was- If it was the- Early 80s, mm. and I was walking down. Early 80s, I was. Sixth in Cypress. I was like, or I was like three years old, four years old. Okay, mid to late 80s. Okay. I was like, by the way, already smoking a lot of pot in New York. By like, the mid to late 80s? Yeah. I moved there in 89. You did? Yes. That was my first year there. I was in sixth grade. I know. So anyway, <laughs> I could have technically, if I didn't really? get into the world I got into. You, 89, I, if you I was to New York? 1989. Damn. Mm -hmm. Okay. The I thought summer, it was like 91 summer, or something. No, the there. summer of 89. Huh. What year did you leave New York? I was 17. Um, 97. So you left the year after I landed there. So we missed each other by a year, pretty much. <laughs> Right. Because you, we went because we went to the same uh, acting college, school, drama school. The, yeah, the, did the, you ever... You're being kind, calling it a college. It's not really a college. It's okay. a 
It's a school. But you never went to visit after you graduated, right? You know how sometimes Philly? graduate. No. Where? The academy. You know how sometimes graduates Oh, no, there come? were some years like li- we would. Like they would pop over and the teachers would be yeah, so Yeah, you'd go back and say, like, and, and uh, remember Clement? Clement, yeah. At the, at the he, front? For, yeah, of course. So, you know, you'd go say hi. Or you're like, oh, my God, I'm walking right past the school. I'm going to pop in. Yeah. I wonder if you did that. My picture's all the or was. I haven't been there in a million years, but I it was w- all the way on the. I wonder if you came to visit when I was a student there. It's possible. Oh, I wonder. I know. Do you want to go back like, in time sometimes? Kinda. I wonder if you were just looking around and I was coming out of class or something. Wow. Oh shit! That could have happened. You yeah, know? I mean, it would be so rare because I barely ever went back. But let's say the two times I did. That'd be so I went cool. back like once or twice as yeah. well. But you've spoken. Let's talk about this. What? You've been asked to speak on I behalf spoke of the at a school. Graduation, yeah. That's, they've never reached out to me once. Why not? Maybe they reached out to me because I was doing a play in New York there, um, and it happened to coincide with their graduation. So they said, "Let's call Kate." I don't know. It's a really big deal to be asked to speak at a graduation. Yeah, I don't remember what I said, but I hope I did okay. I'm sure you did great. Maybe. I was stressed about that place, and then I thought, oh, right, I have to speak at a graduation. What do I say to a group of people? I mean, what do you people, say? Young people about to embark on the world. Do you have, like, a world. snippet? Do you, have, do you remember anything? No. Nothing? Nothing. Go be you? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You can do whatever you want? No, I don't think so. I don't remember what I said. I know. I'm trying to think of what would come out of your mouth. Yeah, it's all yeah, gonna work it's out. It's all bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, we had Vanessa Redgrave speak at your graduation. Yes. Shut up. Yeah. Well, she went there. I, well, only people that go there come back and speak. We had Alan Alda. Ah, oh, that's dreamy. And I and then years later, that's Alan cool. Alda and I are on Ray Donovan together. Oh my god! How about that? But, Did you say you spoke at my no. graduation? You didn't. Mm-mm. No. MASH was one of my favorite TV shows yeah, when I was a kid. Them. My aunt also spoke at our graduation, too. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. She went there? Mm-mm. Oh, so they are just grabbing. Mm-hmm. They don't always... We had... I think we also had an... We had... Was it Elaine? Who was the amazing woman from uh, uh, the movie with Goldie Hawn where she played... She joins the army? Oh. Um, uh, Private Benjamin. Pri- Private, Private Benjamin. Benjamin. Who was the woman... Who oh was, yeah, with the big hair. Who who was like who who was the nemesis to to Goldie Hawn? I think she played the drill sergeant. Yeah, I can't think of the actress. It, it's name. not Elaine Stritch, right? No. Who was it? No, she's older. Kidding. It was that woman who also spoke at our graduation. Who? And then like the class of like. 2003 got Kate Menick. <laughs> I'm so sorry, <laughs> Eileen Brennan. Eileen Brennan. Yeah, she spoke at our. That's oh, great. the funny part, yeah. is, years later, years and years yeah. later, I was at some charity benefit and the cast of Orange and the New Black was there, some of them. And one of the girls who was a regular on Orange is the New Black said, I went to the academy. You were, I, I, you spoke at my graduating class. That's so funny. And Which I, character? I have no idea. I don't know because I've only watched the, the, first, uh, the first two seasons, so I kind of don't know. But um, – I said, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I think that was like my first words to her. And she was really Was sweet. she like, no, you had a profound effect on I me. I don't think she went that far. But all I know is that it was like, it's fun. And I, and I think I, we just acknowledge, it's like, how funny. Like, you're on right. like the hottest show on TV right now. Like, good yeah. for you. Like, you Well, know. maybe it, maybe you, you sparked well, something in her. Let's not push it. I don't, I don't know. I, it's fun to think about. Yeah, I don't think I, I was the answer to anyone's prayers. I just Well, she could have been thinking about one direction and she chose another that day. Which I don't know. Led I her to was, Orange is the New Black. I just thought it was funny. It's I was amazing. Like, right on. I was like, you're on the biggest show, and yeah. I'm the one who's unemployed now. Because at the time, I believe it was. Yeah, when they were off. We like yeah, we were off. A, we were off, right? Yeah, no, we were off. So I was like, ah, oh, funny how that's life great. Works anyway. I hope she's doing well. I don't remember what character she played. Mm. That would have been a great. Did detail. go to our school. I have a question. Yes, what? Leisha. Yes. What was your life like in New York in 1989? Mm. What were you doing? So 1989, I was 17 mm-hmm. when I moved to New York. And I went early because I went to the summer school. I did the same. The summer program of the school 
I was about to enter. Yeah, it gives you like a. It gives you. Like I had a, like a three month jump on everybody, like a like an understanding of like. It gives you. It gives your parents permission to allow you to leave early because you have a purpose. And you they would get, have never let me just go to New York. Neither would mine. No, no, no. I, I was did the in same school. program, and it gives you like a taste of what's to come. Yes. You're right. So I felt like, and I was reading like Stanislavski books, oh, and like I was really like an actor. I was like, this is my life's purpose. I took it very seriously. Yeah. yeah. Um, I had a great teacher who, who was, had a the, huge who, who, crush who did on. You, who was your teacher for that summer? She was a summer school teacher. Oh. Her name was, was Robin something. Yeah, I don't know. Huge crush. Really? Oh, so my type. Okay. I was like, uh-oh. It was all starting to happen. Okay. I gave her a gift, like a cheesy, you know what oh, I mean? Bless. A cheesy gift. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it was like my whole world changed. My whole life changed. I was living my dreams. I was in New York City. It was like... I lived uptown. I took the subway all the time to Did you teach yourself school. the subway pattern? Yeah. I was like, it was like a hand in a glove. I was like, this is where I've always. Did you ever get lost in the subway? No, I like New York because. It's a grid. Oh, the subway? No. It's a grid. And it made yeah. total sense to me. But um, yeah, the the school was like, I mean, we do you want to, should we talk about what we learned? Sure, let's go. Well, I mean, the first thing, don't you think the first thing we learned was how to not, like... Um, first thing you learn is repetition. Well, yes, but not to... Um, what's the word? I already forgot. Indicate. It's yeah. like how to not indicate. Because in high school, like, or anything, like, community, like growing up in a small... Well, for me, for a small town, like, acting like you thought you, would like, would act out the thing. Mm -hmm. But it's called indicating. Mm-hmm. Repetition. It's supposed to get you out of yourself. So I know, you but don't like, do any of that. but we learned like acting is listening. So you just like listen to the person and react. Should we do? A, should we do? <laughs> yes. It's so boring. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> do, no, I, I was talking to a friend of mine who who did this, and we were saying, oh my god, those repetition things. But it teaches you to listen. But now that we can see, true. Show okay. us. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> You're squinting. I'm squinting. You're squinting. I am squinting. Now you're blinking. I'm blinking. You're you're, blink. you're noticing I'm blinking. I'm noticing you're blinking. You are noticing I'm blinking. You're uncomfortable. I'm not uncomfortable. You're uncomfortable. You look shocked. You can't say you're not. Can yes, you, you say can. you're not? Yeah. You can? Yeah. I don't remember. Because then that. you repeat it. You're not uncomfortable? I'm not uncomfortable. Right. You're uncomfortable? Anyway, the like whole that. point is. Oh, that you guys were doing it. Okay. Yeah, we were really, <laughs> that was until it. she broke until she broke the mold. Okay, we so could have kept basically, going. But I'm glad you did. What you're doing is you're getting yourself out of your own head. And the deeper and the deeper you do this, the more outlandish things can get because you're just spending this time with someone just like but you're also noticing all, the littlest things that lead into the next. So it's kind of like this podcast. It'll lead you down a rabbit hole. You don't know where it's going to go. The whole point is to just concentrate on the other person. Yeah. To just listen. So when you're repeating, you're really just repeating what they said, but you're focusing on them. So it's really teaching you, you to listen. But you can say, you can, you can say, you say you're doing something. I'm not doing that. Oh, you're not doing that? I'm not doing that. Okay, doing, I forgot. I mean, it's to, been like 35 years. Yeah, it just but, kind of, it puts you... It puts that that back onto you, right? And then back meanwhile, onto me. like I think my parents. I mean, this is what they're paying for. So I would come home to Nebraska and I'd be like, "Guess what I'm learning?" <laughs> How long would you have not to do a that doctor, for? not a lawyer, but in class? you know, what? like you would go yeah. into class and 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 you'd watch each other do it. So like two people would get up, and we'd be like in class and you'd like be sitting there witnessing it. It could go on for like a half an hour. It oh, kind of yeah. depends, like how good it is. It gets like really I deep. said, it can go down a rabbit hole into places you don't expect. I've seen these things start out like this. Yeah, it ends with someone in tears. Oh, it crying, ends with someone yelling. screaming. You know, actors. They, I'm really imagining like, like a lot of black turtlenecks while you guys. No, no black no. turtlenecks. No, we had a smoking lounge on you like floors. You had a floor. smoking lounge? They took that away when what? I got there. Yeah, you had to smoke outside by the steps. Oh my God, no. There was a lounge and everyone would come like from each floor to this no. certain floor. And we were in a little bo closed box with no windows. Just like, oh my God, can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> they stripped that away by the time we got there. Oh, we probably are all going to die like three years earlier all because of, us, of it. You know, this, there was like these beautiful, it's like this beautiful, uh, it's not even a brownstone. It, no, it's, it's kind of. It looks like a mansion. It's a building. It looks like a mansion. It's a building. It's like something you'd see from the Gilded Age. Yes. And 
they had these beautiful entry stairs. And because they took away that smoking lounge, we would just infiltrate oh, the stairs. Out, yeah. And so people who were trying to enter or exit would be like, oh, excuse me. Yeah, or just so walk sorry. down the street. There's like 30 actors. Oh, my God. Reading scenes. Oh, oh it was so great. It was the greatest. <laughs> I How love long that was place. that program? It's a two-year two year program. And oh, then there's the, there's the company. And there's if the company. Get, if you get invited back yeah. to the company. The oh, elite. The best. What's the company? The company is like, like their repertory company. Like a ballet company. Yeah. Where you're supposed to like, that's where like you get discovered. Like agents and managers will come see your place. They don't come. In theory. No one shows up. Mm-mm. Oh, it's like so 10 cute people that you guys get both by. went there. I was supposed it's to be crazy. in the company. Do you know crazy. this? Yeah. You were going to and then you went off and did music. No. The, the, t- the head of the school like... I think I was just, re- I was really like, what? kind of in, not rebellious, but sort of like, not putting that? my back into it at yeah. that point. And and he he kind of figured out that I didn't care enough at that um, point. So he gave you a talking to. Yeah, I got a talking to. Was it that I guy with the, the old man with the uh-huh. white hair? I did his play. Like at the very end of school, we all put on a play at the mm-hmm. end. I, he was my director, and that's oh. when I was kind of like sloughing off a little. And I think he didn't like the. I'm sorry. Second, at the end of second year, mm-hmm. we do a play. We do a play. Like mm-hmm. you get put because sec- the second semester of second year, we you would do like different plays, mm-hmm. and then the final one one was like your. The so big by one. that point, you were. Yeah, and I off? was like, I was on the list to be in the company. Okay. Because everyone kind of like would whisper about who's going to make it. Okay. And then I did his play. <laughs> and <I> was <laughs> he was cur- like, no thanks. I think I was showing up late. I was a little right. bit. And I think my punishment was that I didn't make it. Oh. But f- it's great because, you know, my life changed after that. Why were you schluffing off? You had to do well. I so- had other interests, Kate. Okay. I was, you know, I had enough schooling. It was I, a lot I of work, it Lisha. Out. Like second year was a lot of work. Yeah, I'll I, never I forget it. I think I it. just was like, I was, I was oh, ready I was to move on. I was all in. That show, that, that. No, I was in, but I was like. You were over it. I was loving no, every second. I was in, but out. You know what I'm saying? Like I was ready to like. Hmm. I gotta be me. I was like right. ready to get out there. Really? Yeah, I was ready to get. Yeah. Did you have any breakout uh, students besides you? People that like really made it? Or okay, here's my real question. Uh, right off the bat, when people when you first graduated, did anyone just like? Not now, not like years later, but like right was was anyone like? Oh my god, did you hear about Mindy? <laughs> was anybody like that? Um, I don't know. Okay. I know that Troy Garrity had graduated. He's Jane Fonda's kid, and he was having a moment because he was doing um, nepotism. Yeah. He also spoke at our graduation, I think. Um, and he wore flame throwing, he wore jeans with flames on them. You had that. Shane I sure had did. Maybe he's inspired that. But um, he was sort of like a moment okay. at that time. Okay. Um, we had here are my the two that came out I, of I our can't class. Think of it. Let me. Yeah. Who did you have? Because I can't think of. I don't know one. their name. I don't remember her name because she was she was actually in the class ahead of me. That's why I don't. But she got, went right onto a soap opera, Ooh. and we were all like, <gasps> like it was a big deal. Right. Like she landed a soap. Okay. And then the other one I saw like <laughs> two years later, I'm kid you not, on United Airlines, I was on a flight and she was all, when you exit the, the you know, when you watch a, <laughs> yeah, yeah, she was in one of those. No shit. Yeah. And I was like, whoa. But anything was a big deal. Right. You were like, right. wow, they got that. Right. You know what I mean? I definitely Back then know it was like, mean. or if you'd see someone in a commercial. Yeah. I there was there were so many talented people. Sure. I'm shocked they didn't do something because I was convinced that so many of them were destined for stardom. Broadway, stardom, anything. Like they were so fucking talented. No, everyone was great. I think what happens possibly is that some people decide they don't want to do that as a career career. Right, or you get sidetracked. You got to pay the bills. Yeah, you get a job, and it leads you in yeah. another direction. Um, yeah. Maybe you tried really hard, it didn't work, and you give up. Maybe. Like, there's so many different reasons. I know one person, one kid from our class. He graduated the academy, and then he went to Juilliard, and he was like a very like serious actor. Yeah. And I wonder what happened to him. He was also very talented, but I, I don't know what. I don't know if I've ever seen his name floating around. 
but... I didn't do a thing. I went straight into music. I did. I think, I, I mean, I got a pilot about a year after See, I graduated. See, you're, you're one of the stories. Yeah, I guess I am. Yeah, Yeah, you did Young, young Americans, right? Sure did. Yeah, that's quick. That's a quick turnaround. Right. A year later, out of school. Was it a year later? But that's, again, brings me back to, like, if I was walking down the streets was of Philly later. and yeah. I saw your face. I wasn't in Philly by then. I was in New York. You're not getting it. Back when you were in Philly yeah. and you were six and I was 17, whatever the hell the age difference is. <laughs> <laughs> if I had seen you and I was a casting uh -huh. director, yeah. I would put you in something. Thanks, Leash. That's the face you can't hide away. Thanks, Leash. Anyway. So there you have it. That's our first episode at Spotify, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. We did it. We sure did. We did it. Great. Like we're both sitting like this. What is this? What are we, nuns? Okay. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Where do we say goodbye? Talk Into the camera. The wide? The wide? Thanks, everybody. That was a- uh... That was pants. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>